Laundry room makeover. Finally complete. Almost a year in the making. I did stop, do a couple of other projects, and I came back. But in total, it was about a year. Okay. Um, but I could have done it quicker, but like I said, a couple of other projects got in the way and I had to go ahead and take care of them. Thanks for coming. Watch all the way to the end to see the big reveal. I did a lot of work in here. There's gonna be a couple of videos in a series format, but stay tuned, keep watching. Thanks for coming by, Daddy DIY. You're watching Daddy DIY. Here is the current restroom slash laundry room. It is a mess right now, sorry. But this is not going to get it. It's time for a laundry room, bathroom makeover. So I had a small plan. I'm thinking the washing dryer, side by side, a couple of shelves. Um, countertop on top and a lower counter on both sides some hanging racks for the wife to hang things some floating shelves uh, this is the toilet area I don't know what I want to do over here I want to I don't know I'm gonna surprise you with that uh, I'm thinking some built-in shelves here just to store different items uh, and this is that excess wall back wall. I don't know if I want to put a shelf here coming across or leave it open. That's still to be determined. And the reason the washing dryer is higher than these two shelves is because I want to put it on a pedestal. I just don't have the pedestal drawn in here. Uh, it's just because it's my rough draft. I know it's going to be a pedestal. It's just so I remember that it needs to be higher than those two. So let's see if I can make this happen. That's all. All right, step one to the laundry room makeover is to get everything out. I'm all ready. So I have everything out. The washing dryer unstacked. And then we're back to my empty blocks. All right. Okay, so since this is still our current living space, I am framing this out uh, with the washer and dryer stick connected. The dryer, I do unplug and then the dryer vent if needed, because it's quickly, but I have not yet unplugged the dryer in order to put a little water hoses. I did connect these extra long cords. They're six feet long, I think, six or eight feet. He's going to talk to me. I forgot. This is a little bit. I wonder how good that is for the washing machine for you to be doing that on top of there. Uh, it's just minimal. It's a little bit of dust. A little bit of dust never hurt. Bring this area out. My back plate, bottom, still back plate, bottom plate against the wall. Yeah, yeah. Attach the studs. All of these are on 16. So, I'll get it. I already marked my studs out. Studs, studs, studs. These are going to be cabinets and shelves and hangings and washer covers and all that. But this is going to go here. Like I told you, this is 32, 38 inches. And it's going to come across here. Connect right in between. It's very hard to record this. Yeah. <laughs> Right in between this light side. So you can come in here and have a poop section. And somebody can see you doing Even though you're not supposed to poop down here. I mean, a pee section. Mm -hmm. And they'll be breaking his own rules. Sometimes. <laughs> All right, so these are some studs that I broke down off of a pallet wood, the pallet wood that my concrete came on. So I'm gonna use these for the studs going up the wall. All right, I'm gonna cut all these down to 20 inches. All right, so this is how you use the stud finder. It's a little button on the side. Press that button, it's gonna say ready. 
Let me just start sliding it across the wall. And boom. Oh, little sweet arrow since there's a stud all the way there and it ends there. So there. So I need two hands to mark that, but there you go. So you find it and then you mark it. So I already did one here. So you just stood it there. My line is a little off, but it's okay. All this is wood and then it goes off there. Alright, so that there is all wood. And I got my X there. I'm gonna fix that up. Um. Alright, so now I have all the studs traced out. And I found it with my stud finder. What stud? Alright, so I'm gonna get my studs on the wall and then a top plate that's gonna run across the whole entire wall to tie everything together and then uh, the bar, the countertop. Okay, so wash and dry right there. Our little countertop will be right here, waist tight. I'm gonna have a skinny counter right here so I can fold and slide my piles down. We're gonna have a hanging bar right here for shirts and things. And then the TV will be right here so I can fold and watch my little show. And then back here will be a, a hanging bar with nothing underneath to hang tall, long stuff, like dresses and pants, if they don't make them look So as you can see, I am renovating a function mini laundry room. And due to my limited space, I'm gonna have to finish this section first. Well, finish it to the point to where I can get the washer and dryer up on the platform, and then I'll finish out the rest because it's getting too difficult to maneuver everything as they have both machines. All right, so I have the base it up and I have each of my 20 inch studs lined up with the studs on the wall so I'm gonna go ahead and secure them to the base plate and then we're gonna stand this up and secure the whole base plate to the wall So I have all of my upright studs attached to the base. Time to stand the base upright and stand down on top of it. So now I am turning the base upright. Everything is attached from the bottom. And now I'm going to put the top plate on top. And I did it this way because I wanted it to be very strong. The washer and dryer is gonna be sitting on top of this. And I didn't want anywhere where it would be weak or it could fall down in any way. So now the top is attached and I'm going to cut out the uh, plywood to go on top for the top base. All right, so. I got 
the frame dip out. I'm gonna nice her across. I can't screw it to the wall, grab it. I'm gonna put my top all the way across the top. Here I am attaching the top, making sure everything is level and sealing it down with screws. All right, still doing the laundry conversion while doing the laundry. So I got the pedestal built. It's up, <coughs> running, holding things. So today I'm going to finish. All right, <clears throat> just had a buddy stop by. Let me get the washer and dryer up. Got them both up, both running, no shaking, no wobbling. But I did adjust all the feet and get them tight and everything. So, but I'm gonna keep on building with my shelves and my hanging areas and countertop. But we have the pedestal built and it's perfect. Uh, putting my plywood, building my shelves out, closing up all these cabinets to where they'll be flush, be kind, and we can get to cutting everything up, uh, sanding everything down, and get ready. So this area is next. I'm gonna do the top, the trim, plywood, both sides. So all you see is flat flush all the way around, and then we get ready for the face plates. Let's go. All right, here I'm getting the left side of the folding area screwed in. I measured it and cut it out already. I did that off camera. And now I'm putting in the right side and getting that screwed in and I will be cutting the countertops and things next. I now need a plate that's 46 inches long and it's gonna be my best plate for the top uh, shelf for the folding rack. 46 inches. All right, here I'm making sure everything is level, finding my stud, and I'm going to get some screws put in here, and this will hold up our countertop. All right, see there? We are level. Ready for the top. There'll be a TV there. Countertop here, be the folding area. And now I'm about to add a shelf here. Yeah. Um, I'm just gonna go with these one by ones, screw those in. I'm using my nail gun, nail those in on both sides. My shelf right on top of that, drill them in. And then after that, put my countertop on, and that'll be done. So I want my shelf high enough to where this basket can still fit underneath it. So now your shelves cut out uh, in three parts. First, you know, the front, we'll cut that out, get the other two out. I'm just doing my dry roof, roof fit now. I'm gonna put a glue in between each one, caulk it, sand it, paint it, put the whole thing together. Uh, this top is gonna go on top. So you got my excess bottom. I'm gonna put baskets as I need there. And, uh, even if I want to put one there as well. Alright, so I just cut this piece is uh, 27 inches. And uh, what I do now is start covering the insides of these open spaces. So the only thing you see is the flat plywood like that. So I can get ready to caulk and fill all the gaps and get ready to sand. 
So I gotta make a board for there, this side, this one is for that side. I already have one there, as you can see. Uh, and then I'm gonna do a bottom um, on these two. I wanna see the floor. This one is gonna stay open so you will see the floor on that one. Alrighty. Good nice stuff uh, fit. I'm uh, feeling when I first down here you see that just a second. See a thing. So now I am going to cut that top plate that goes from here to here. Uh, I think I'm going to do it a foot, maybe a foot and a half. I'm not sure yet. I'm really going to see what wood I got out there um, that I can use and not waste. Okay, so out of all my scrap pieces, I found this one here. Uh, this one is 13 inches and in its shortest point, 13 inches. So I'm gonna square this off at 13 inches. That'll be the width of our shelf because that's what I got. Uh, and I only need 36 inches length for that shelf. So I'm gonna come down 13 inches, cut uh, 36 inches of that, square it off. We're gonna install that. that be our uh, countertop for that section. Okay, so I skipped over the install of the countertop because as you will see later in the video, I changed up that portion of the project. But here I'm going ahead and installing the face plates to the front of the pedestal and getting everything leveled and even. All right, so in the middle of our conversion, we found out that our washing machine is leaking. You can see the red mark here where it's leaking. That's how it's wet. There's water there. So let's finish the last load. Uh, I'm gonna switch that over. As you can see, it's dripping there. So this is why it's leaking. That tear. So I did a video on the repair of this washer, uh, repairing the rubber boot seal. So if you didn't see that video, a link will be placed here in the video. Here's the area that I decided to go a different direction in. So this is gonna be a cabinet now with a countertop and 
that's it with the open space at the bottom. So now I'm gonna tear this all out, uh, build the cabinet, redo the countertop. I'm gonna leave the bottom space open and um, that's, that's the plan. So let's tear it down and get going. All right, everything is out and it's time to build the cabinets. All right, so this is the plywood that I'm using. I'm going to start with the left panel of the cabinet. No, the right side panel. The left side is just gonna be attached straight to the wall, okay? So I got it measured down. I believe it was about 72 inches. So now I'm gonna cut that down and go ahead and get it down and get ready to start building onto it. So this is the cabinet box that I'm building at the top. I'm using nails and wood glue to secure everything. And then I think I ended up putting two screws uh, towards the top and the bottom of both shelves. I let that sit and dry for a little while and then I prepared to hang it up. All right, um, make sure you be very careful for cuts. Uh, crafting can be dangerous. Always remember, crafting can be dangerous. Please remember, this it, but I did it somewhere. So, rinse it off, wash it up, bandage it up, get back to work. Crafting can be dangerous. What you're looking at now is the bottom base for the cabinet. I'm cutting the shelf out now, and I'll get this shelf installed shortly. And then we just need to work on the doors and sealing everything up. Caulking, sanding, doing a little mudding, and then this cabinet box slash shelf should be complete. Now it's time for me to put up this wall here. I'll cut this space. We have, um, I got some drywall screws and I'm going to be using a piece of drywall to close this out. I'm going to put a screw in here, all four corners, and um, lock that piece in, and then, you know, mud it through the edges, and then get painted with everything up and tie it all together. I've already cut the drywall piece out. There we go. Just put your hand This is the countertop. I'm gonna take this down first. <coughs> Just uh, two back stops here. One here, one here at the bottom. This piece, I'm gonna put it up. Okay, next update. I have our corner pieces, the trim, everything is soft, brush, everything is even, level, brush, even, brush, level, brush, and even, all the way down. Got the trim going all the way around. I want to see the unit to look completely built in when I get done. My trim going around here. I have a couple of spots I want to cop. I wasn't trying to be too careful because I know I can cop it and it'll be all right. Uh, so now it's gonna come across the front with the trim. And uh, after that, I think I'm gonna caulk do this countertop and then work on getting these washers down and doing that countertop. And then I work on that corner legs. All right, stay tuned. Watching, Daddy DIY. 
don't be afraid to get in there and get it done. All right, so I have the trim for the front piece cut. It's not attached yet. Just got a dry fit going on there. Um, the back piece I did cut into two pieces. I didn't want to waste this piece, so I cut it, mitered it. I'm going to attach that for a little piece of wood glue in the center. Attach that, put a little piece of cock on it, paint it, you never know. So it's two pieces. Uh, quarter round is one piece. We'll get that on. And let's get everything checked in now. And it should be looking like everything else going around the room. So again, like I said, I want everything to look completely built in and professional. You look better already. Can't wait till I get some doors on that cabinet, some primer. It's gonna be beautiful. All right, stay tuned. All right, so that's the end of episode one of the laundry room makeover. Stay tuned. Episode two should be uploading pretty quick. Um, and just keep watching so you can see the reveal at the end of the video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Daddy DIY, the channel of arts, crafts, and do-it-yourself projects. Keep watching for more videos from me.